Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the uh, this is going to be the next build, or well, part of the next build, I should say. As you can see, it's it's a relatively old kit. It's the uh, Academy N10 with duck bill. It's not a bad little kit, really, considering. I think I paid like 20, 22 quid, something like that. It's got a full interior, engine included. So nice artwork on there. Obviously, it's 135 scale. I should say that, shouldn't I? And the kit number is 1397. So I won't do it. I won't do an unboxing on this one because there's plenty of unboxings on there. On the uh, on the web on the website, so there's no point in me doing another one for these one. But I'll give you a quick counter in the kit what we've got. I bought some optional extras for it as well. Right, I'll just show you the amount of plastic it's in there. You know, you've got a fairly decent amount of plastic in there. You know, tracks don't look too bad, considering the age. Getting some nice decals. Which is the upper and lower two. There's plenty of plastic. I think there's some parts in here that you don't use. I think they're for the uh, M36. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, the M36 as well. So, no problem is you can't get it all back in the bloody box, can you? No. We'll sort that out in a minute. So yeah, so there's plenty of plastic. Normal instructions. Let's see when it was printed. Does it say anything when it was made? I can't see anything. Yeah, there's a few pieces that you're not going to be using on these. Quite a few parts. But I'm sure they'll come in use for something else. So I bought this as well off eBay. I think it was about 8 dollars It's a Panzer Art and it's the sandbag armour for the front of the. Uh, the M10, that would be something a bit different. I'm actually working from another photo which I haven't printed out yet. Um, but I'll say as, as we go on along you'll understand why, what I'm going to try and do. So I've got that for the tank as well. And I've had this for quite a while. Because I've, uh, I've had that for quite a while. I've had this for quite a while as well. It's the Def Model M10 Metal Battle with Mantlet as well. So I'll be popping that and probably use that as well. Give me that kit. Right, so let's move this out of the way. So basically what I'm going to do with this is you know I build for the company GeroDesign.com. .com is it .com? I can never ever remember. Terrible I am. Yeah, GeroDesign.com, yeah. Well, I'm going to do one, another one of those uh, their builds for them. And it's the Western Wall. Now I can't remember if I did a, uh, an unboxing for this, I think I probably did. I showed you what it was. So it's basically it's a Western Wall with all the uh, crocodile teeth or dragon's teeth, whatever you want to call it. Crocodile's teeth. So we've got fairly abundance of stuff for different sizes, and there's blocks and there's you know, varying sizes of the uh, dragon's teeth. We've got piles of this bloody foam in there as well. There's varying sizes of uh, yeah. small ones. So I won't get them all out. Varying sizes again. So I think I can just pull this back and you can see what's in there. Let's just see if I can get some of this plastic stuff off it. Yeah, there's quite a bit in there. To build the dio, I probably won't be using all of it, but I'll be using the majority of it. As I say, it's going to be a, a long dio, more than a wide one this time. Obviously, to, to depict the uh, the Western Wall or the uh, Siegfried Line, as is more commonly known. So I've got plenty, plenty scope, as they say. And there's an instruction sheet there as well, so where's my bloody bin gone now? 
sort of your organisers and all, but black and bag will be for now. See when it came as well packed, as you can see with all the uh, styrofoam and bits and pieces. So see, it's going to be a long day, a long to depict the wall, and with the photo that I've got. It's actually a Sherman that's breaking through, but I thought I'd just change it, change it slightly, and, and, and use an M10 because I say I do. I haven't built one of the M10 before. I thought I'd just fancy building that. That's you know, the Western World Siegfried line. So we'll try and do something with that nicely. And also, on a part of the photograph I've got, which I'll print out when we when we do in the build. It has to be between where the where the broke through is actually a cobbled, what looks like a cobbled um, part path. Well, the tanks going through, or the figures are going through. So I've got the I've had this for a long time as well. This is I think it's a fog from a fog from fog models. That so I'll probably try and use that, incorporate that. But I'll just double check the photograph just to make sure it is what I think it is. So we'll just pop those on there. Uh, and finally, I've got some American to me American. Um, Infantry swords, but I can't get my hands on them at the moment. They're, they're hidden away. But I've got this this here for the uh, for the tank crew. It's mini art. Perfect what I need, really. We're not actually in action. They're sort of uh, relaxing about the looks of them. I thought I'd use these. I got these quite cheap off eBay. So they're still in the plastic. Uh, Cellophane, which I haven't even opened them yet. That's quite a wee bit of scope, isn't it? So that'll be fine. Yeah, so that's the next build. With uh, Once I find the photograph, I'll print it out and I'll show you what I mean. So I think that's about it as far as that's concerned. I think that's about it. The uh, tank figures, apart from the American infantry, which I've got. Which I can't dig out at the moment because they're right at the back. Um, and the M10. So basically, it's a Siegfried line build, working from photograph. So that'll be the next uh, my next build. So I'll, I'll do a sort of a, another build route log as I go along with it. If if anybody's interested in to follow that one, I'll I'll, I'll I'll appreciate that. So I'd like to say thank you very much for to all my subscribers for subscribing to me and um, the new subscribers also. And he also thanks for putting up with me and uh, the positive comments that I'm getting back and feedback, which is really really nice. I do appreciate it, and I try and answer to all uh, all my uh, all the all the messages. I try my best. I don't necessarily do them all in one day. I do them as bits and pieces as they come in. Sometimes or I'll just sit there at night time and go through the lot. So if I haven't replied yet, I'm sorry, but it will be replied. I would say later on today. So this is Greg signing off and we shall catch you very very soon with this new build.